on the last episode of ISO That. Ah! We're David Walker at Yeah! <laughs> you know what you know I'm coming for you? You're the best here, right? He's done. He's done? He's done. Yeah! Oh yeah! Flick off! Flick off! Flick! Flick! Come on, man! I feel like when he's tired, he can't shoot. Come on. I want it, I want it. I want all the smoke right now. I'm mad. Good f to hit, bro! Let's go! We're locked in! I'm definitely showing you. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And I just want the smoke, bro. That's it. I want the smoke. Get the f Come here. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I ain't going to the wire. This episode of ISO That. I want to see who's him. I want to see who the best ISO player in the world is. Two teammates who started this battle together will now go head to head for $5,000 cash and the title of the ISO That champion of the world. I ain't never meet somebody that could guard me. I, I could score anybody. That's how I feel. Fucking go, man. Like you believe you're the toughest ISO player in the world, like 1v1. Yeah. Like no one can guard you. In my opinion, he's very hard to guard. You can't guard him. I just said the same shit last game. I just keep doing what I do, bro. This is a different beast. Than I feel, I feel you, I feel you, but the, the, the really doubt was the same. A little bit different. The doubt was the same. Different. I'm different too. The battle we've all been waiting for is finally here. David Walker versus RJ. Two of the most viral hoopers we've seen this season will battle it out. And by the end of this, we will find the most unguardable man on planet Earth.
It's officially time. The ISO That Championship is finally here. For almost three months now, we've been trying to find the best 1v1 basketball player on the internet. After some of the most viral plays, craziest shit talking moments, and 1v1 wars, we narrowed down the playing field to two finalists, RJ and David Walker. Finish the race. That's right now, that's all on my mind for me. God got me here, and I'm gonna finish, you know what I mean? As far as the money, can't think about what I'm gonna do with it right now, you know what I mean? I gotta get it in my hand first, and then I could start processing it, you know what I mean? But right now, it's, it's get it, you know what I mean? So. Until I get it, then you know what I mean? I'm just locking in and finishing the race. That's my whole mindset right now. Since the day RJ DM'd me on Instagram, I knew there was something special about this kid. So far in ISO that, not only has he been a highlight machine, but he's also proven that he's a straight up hooper. Lockdown defense, tough buckets, and the shit talk to back it all up. RJ is definitely someone that I can see dominating people in the YouTube space. And this finals matchup, well, this is his chance to make it come to life. The fucking baby. David Walker's journey in ISO that <laughs> has been very David Walker like. Fuck. Get your ass up, nigga. Come, let's go. What's wrong with these niggas? Send that nigga home. You know the fuck I am? Earn my money, nigga. David Walker is a man of very few words. He's the type of guy who just automatically commands the attention of everyone when he walks in the gym. You could pretty much sum up his game by saying the game does the talking. I just gotta see. You feel me? It's not even into all the talking, man. I just gotta see. Over the past few weeks, we've seen David absolutely walk through the competition. And when his teammate K Showtime came to support him, he just got even deeper in the bag. Craziest part about this matchup is that RJ and David started on the same team for the qualifiers. They lost their first game to Rare J and MJM Castro. And ever since that loss, they just both put their head down and powered all the way to the championship. I told you! I told you! Oh my god, David! Tell him to up! Tell him to go up, man! Boom! 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 Today, there's no excuses. Both guys are tired. Both guys have had their own challenging battles. But this is exactly what we wanted. Two of the most talented demons to face off against each other, battle it out, and see who deserves the ISO that championship. More importantly, I want to know who will be able to defend it against some of the best competition in the future. And most importantly, today, we will find out who is truly him. I'm T, I'm T. David, Walker, RJ. These guys are fucking both demons. These guys are both tough. Ask him. Ask him. Okay, okay. You guys ready? You guys are excited? Five bands. Let's go. Gotta go home with that. You got a little vibe around. Okay. He drove here. Okay. Took a flight here, right? I got my guy RJ. I got my guy David Walker. The championship, what everyone's been waiting for. You got the belt, you got the ring, you got 5K on the line, and you got the title as him. I came to, I created this whole series of ISO that, this whole season, this whole league, to find him to defend a belt. I wanna see who's him. I wanna see who the best ISO player in the world is. Um, you know, your answer, your answer will dictate if you're really him. Mm -hmm. Do you believe you're genuinely the best ISO player in the world one-on-one? -on -one? I ain't never meet somebody that could guard me, so hell yeah. I mean, you get like you get like a leaguer in there, you think he's guarding? Uh, I, I could score anybody. That's how I feel, so of course. Who are you? Same thing. Same thing. You like you believe you're the toughest ISO player in the world, like one v one. Yeah. Like no one can guard you? Yeah. Alright. 
That's what I, that's, uh, those are both good answers because the moment you say, oh, you know, I heard someone the other day, I don't know who it was exactly, they're like, oh, you know, I don't know about leaguers, I don't know about NBA guys, but, and I heard you, the other side of things, you were like, I don't care who it is, if you're in the NBA, if you're here, if you're here, I'm guarding him and I'm that's scoring right. him, right? That's so right. that's the type of attitude I need for this series. I want to find him. Going into this matchup, this is a super interesting matchup, not the one that I expected it to be. You have a super strong, super efficient, clearly has a shot that I didn't know about. Um, what's your thoughts going into this? I mean, he was my teammate yesterday, so I got to see, you know, somewhat. But, you know what I mean, the stakes is different, so we got to see who really wants that shit. Would you say you know his game inside out right now? And I'm not going to say I know his game, you know what I mean? He got moves and shit, but like I said, the, the, the pressure is on now, so we're going to see who really wants this shit. You handle the pressure well? Yeah, for sure. You've seen his game. You're his teammate, right? He probably outperformed you yesterday, but today I would say you've outperformed him once. What's your game plan going same thing it was this morning, just trying to get it. Trying to get it. Um, he's big. They're saying that he's big. He's, he's strong. He can shoot the ball. How do you guard that? <laughs> like, you can't, like, in my opinion, he's very hard to guard. Like, you can't guard him. I just said the same shit last game. I'm just keep doing what I do, bro. This is a different beast than I the feel, I feel you. I feel you, but the, the, the really doubt was the same. It's a little bit different. The doubt was it's the a same. different. I'm different, too, so. I know, but this guy, like, like a lot of people can't guard this guy. I'm telling you. All right, that's that's them. I'm me. Feel me? So we gonna see. Yeah. I'm ten. Caught a body, for a fact. This guy <laughs> a body yesterday. Come on, I was there. You said I was there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy a body yesterday. I was there. Is he there. doing that to you? No, no, no. That's not flying. No, no, no. What if he catches you lacking? Then shit, he probably caught me lagging. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. He's a little bit smaller than you. He's not as strong. He plays really good defense, as you saw. Yeah. You could probably bully him. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I. That's the way I see it. That's what I would do. But what's your game like? You have a. Like, you think you're gonna take advantage of his, of his weakness, of his size? He's a little bit frail compared to you. Or is it just the same thing? Get a bucket. Hey, we just gonna see, bro. I feel like this guy. Like whenever he plays against somebody, it's just like a shadow. It's just like just like a this is a person. Like you know, he doesn't really take into consideration who it is. A lot of guys do, and that's why I do believe you're him. And the same thing with you. Like you, you will dunk on anybody. You I don't care who on this court, bro. I told niggas that when I came in. I don't care who I'm playing. I'm gonna get here, and I'm here. So I gotta what's finish the, uh, it. What's the score looking like in your eyes? It don't matter. Don't I'm care. gonna win. I'm gonna win. It don't matter. Five four, five three, five two. It don't matter. He's a little bit gassed. He's really really tired. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to make him, make him a little more tired, like bump around a little bit. But he handled his business, so now I just gotta handle mine. That's it. Yeah, bumped around a little bit. He's injured. Ooh. Yeah, he got injured a little bit. His shit. knees hurting and shit like that. You're gonna take advantage of that. Doesn't really matter. I think he's ain't gonna try to hurt his knees. I ain't injured. Like... I ain't, ain't injured. <laughs> I'm tough, bro. I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Be cool. The championship. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. The last one. Come on. The last one. Come on. Come on. This Look that bird. Let's go. For that bird. Let's do it, bro. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm good. I'm locked in. Let's do it. Let's do it. This tale of the tape is brought to you by Brody Rec Leagues and Laziz Shwarma. Today's championship features Brooklyn, New York's RJ versus Toronto's own David Walker. Both players started on the same team in qualifiers and completely dominated the competition. That landed them both here, head to head, in what might be one of the most exciting, balanced 1v1s to ever touch the internet. The winner of this match will be crowned as the most unguardable man and must defend the belt against any worthy contenders. Not only that, they'll be walking away with $5,000 and the championship ring. Without further ado, let's get into the game and see who is him. Okay, okay. You know, we got championship day. We got David Walker from Toronto. We got RJ from New York. Winners getting some champagne and some goggles. You know the vibes, we gotta celebrate. We gotta celebrate good. Make sure you pop the champagne outside, courtesy of Boardhouse. Who's the higher seed? He was the higher seed. You wanna shoot for a ball? Toronto got this, man. Let's show you Americans who are going. Let's go, we're locked in. It's good. Yeah, let's go, K-Plot. <laughs> Headshots. Headshots. Oh, he's got a game plan. He's there. this guy, bro. 
That was good defense. Somehow RJ has a burner. So you gotta call something. I don't need it though, I should have. Good finish. Good finish. Oh wow. Wow. That's a really smart foul. We got RJ with one. They got another he got foul. He gonna have to foul you. There was another foul, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on. It was on Ju on the make, right? Yeah, it was. It's one one. Boom! Oh my God! It's so close. What did Kevin Hart say? Pew 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 pew. What I say? You lost. You lost. That's fun. That's fun. You can check out too. You could. You don't want to do that. Wow. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Yo, blink it and blink, nigga. What the fuck about, nigga? Blink it and blink. Five points. Fuck out of here. Coming to the pass. Five points. Fuck out of here. Let's get it, nigga. Huh? I'm not saying that, bro. I can't say that. Is it locked in? So the job's done. Lock in. I don't want to say nothing to you. Job not done. Lock in. Job not done. Finish the game, bro. No long talk. It's five bands on the line time. Give me five bands. Hold on. Attack it. Don't even settle. If your child's not hitting, you're attacking. You're struggling, man. Man, I'm missing him. That shit's even going. That shit was wide open. I know. Your child's are in and out, so if you're not hitting, just get to the first, then take it, you know? Yeah. You're good, man. Don't worry. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Honestly, bro, you should be taking care of this shit. Yeah. Just take him to the room. Like that's my that's my guy. I rock yeah, with him, but like, bro, like, you are. Fuck out of here, nigga. Let these niggas know. Fuck wrong with them, nigga. Fuck wrong with him. You're not out here for me, bro. You show niggas that New York heat, bro. I mean, niggas already know that, but you know what I mean? You gotta show them for real. Four hits. I got the whole fucking gym trying to help you. Okay, go. Wait. Be honest with you, bro. You are. In my opinion, you are a way better, stronger athlete than him. Use that to your advantage. I'm not gonna say better hooper, but you are a better, stronger athlete. All right? Huh? You're a big guy, bro. No, you're not gonna get fouled, bro. Neither is he. I'm gonna let you guys take care of that, but you, you should be winning this. Can't pin that shit. Lane, he's a virgin. He's a virgin. He's a virgin. Get Lane, virgin. Oh. 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 
Alright, he throwing his body too, right? He throwing his body too. He throwing his body. Nigga, grabbing me too, boy. Call that shit even. Step on court after two, nigga. You heard what I said? You heard what I said? You heard what I said? Same RJ I saw yesterday when you fucking dunking on everybody. All right, just bring that energy back. I promise you, don't worry about those guys. Stop listening to them. Just no, listen. Talking about it, lock, lock into my voice. You. Lock into your own voice. I got you, brother. You at the end of the day, bro. I, you. I want you to win this. I want David to win this, but I want you to win this, bro. All right, I got you, bro. You deserve this. All right. Full fact. I got you. Take your breaths. I got you. I got you. I'm locked in. I'm good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put a time limit on this game. You gotta win this. You gotta earn uh -huh. this. It's the first of three. Remember that. So do what you have to do. Accordingly. All right. All right. Two and a one. 
For three, you gotta lock up and play defense. That's what it's all about. It's quick games, and more importantly, you have to lock up. You have to play defense. That's what basketball is defense and offense. So let's see who the better Hooper is. We're not putting a time limit on the finals. After all, it is the finals. So I'm excited to see who takes it home. Right now, it's looking like it's going David's way. First game, it looked like RJ was about to just upset David and send him home. So I'm curious what happens. RJ is a little bit tired. I'm a little bit worried about him. I hope that, you know, fatigue doesn't get to him, but David's tired too. So let's see. This game. Everyone watching right now on YouTube, wherever you're watching, respect these guys. Go we'll follow their Instagram, go we'll follow all their social media. Go we'll rock with them, all right? I'm proud of you guys. So maybe a two second, three second rest while I talk over the rules. Mm -hmm. It's up to three, mm -hmm. twos and ones, the exact same rules. We're not going with a time limit. It's not right of me to put a time limit on the championship game. Um, the best man is gonna win. Uh, if, it's, if it's a long game, if it, if it takes longer, I'm gonna give you guys each one timeout. All right, I think that's fair, feel free to use it. Um, you guys both won one. He's the higher seed, so you get to choose if you wanna shoot for ball or he shoots for ball. Ah, oh, fuck, that's, ah, oh, damn, that's just. Hold on, I got to touch real quick. If I found four, four times, I got zero. This is just nothing. Alright, bro. Fuck out of here. Hey. Oh, I got you, boy. I see that shit right there. Fucking wall is fucking me up. Too close to the wall. You gotta get in the middle. Let me get that time off. Let me get that time off. Let me get that time off. And it's gonna, it can't be a point. And I get nothing for it. Shot on it too much. Shot on it too much. Shot on it too much. Now I keep getting in the wall, that shit got no space over there. Gotcha. Oh, then his point's gone. Go right by. Fucking go, man!
him last minute for my series. Someone reminded me, I think it was Showtime at the time. I told him I was doing a big series. And I put David in here. Like, like, I put David in here because I know there's not a lot of guys that can stop him. RJ, pull up, bro. I want to congratulate him. Nah, bro, he needs something for Hell yeah. I ain't going to lie. I don't mind buying you some food, bro. Oh, he ain't getting none of this I don't mind buying you some food, buddy. You hungry? We go get you some food, man. Where we live. Like, we live tonight. I'm good at that day. I don't mind going for that shit. Good ass game, bro. Hey, what's up? Good game, bro. Good game. Hey, you guys are them. He's him right now. I do gotta say, this guy came all the way from New York. I saw him off a clip where he posterized the fuck out of somebody. He came to my gym and he did the exact same thing. All right, this guy is one of the most lethal, dangerous ISO lap players in the world. All right, so if anybody wants to challenge him, feel free to call my phone. I promise you, 
that you're gonna lose. I wanna be, I wanna keep it real. This guy is very fucking hard to score a bucket on. All right, he scored a lot of buckets on him. Vice versa, he's really, really tough to get a bucket on. David has defense, and he was scoring so shit. David has really yeah. tough defense. He has really tough defense. I have to get the five kid, my boy. He is the holder of the Isolat Champion belt. RJ is gonna be back. He's the top contender right now. I'm proud of you. Is there anything you want to say? Man, shout out the guys. Feel me? Yes, shout out the guys. Yes, sir. Good game. Yes, sir. Feel me? Shout out to everyone who came out for this. Shout out to you the most. Though. I got you, brother. I got you. I got you. I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah. Nobody on the internet. I don't think anybody on the internet can guard this guy. I really don't. I really, I really don't. Like he's him for a reason he claimed the throne. The cleanest plays of today's game are brought to you by Cloth Talk. For all your custom clothing, suits, shoes, or anything else you can think of, go to clothtalk.ca or DM them on Instagram at clothtalkinc. All shopping is by appointment only, so make sure you book in advance. And like I said, always stay clean. Yeah. Walker is a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> he got office I'm, though. I'm, I'm, really too, I'm, I'm like Kawhi. Bro. He's nice though. One of the best finals matchups I've ever seen. You had the guys that started on each other's team in the 2v2 all the way to the finals. You had a game of utmost respect. RJ walked away with game one very seamlessly to the point where I was like, David is going to lose. I didn't think it was going to be this easy. And once David started to lock in with his teammates, Showtime and Mayo. That was when it got dangerous. David got in his bag, he started pushing a little bit, he started getting intense, and RJ couldn't hold him. I also think RJ being from New York in another city, you know, he had the whole gym against him. You know, you had Showtime beacon at him, yelling at him, and he was responding to Showtime. Score right now? You can step on court after too, nigga. You heard what I said? You heard what I said? You heard what I said? He was responding to Showtime, which showed me, you know, maybe some people are getting in his head. Maybe he's, you know, off his game a little bit. And Showtime and, and Trouble Team and, and David, that, that worked to their advantage. Definitely think RJ could have won, but David Walker ended up taking it home and becoming the champion. Like I had said from the start, if there's one person who's insanely hard to guard, if there's one person who's going to get a bucket on you no matter what, and if there's one person who can defend you like a fucking brick wall. Our new champion, David Walker. Oh. Yo, yo, zoom in on the, on the signature. That's a bad signature. <laughs> that shit don't even say that. Right, well, come, come, come on, New York. Come on, New York. Last question, who could guard you, bro? Nobody. Don't see this shit. Don't see this shit. Most on the guard on man. Uh, I, 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 I gotta say what I gotta say, but bro, you cold. Yeah, when we come to New York, you know we live. Yeah, you sure, get, oh, you playing with us for Liddy. Sure, Liddy. Sure. Shit, boy, I thought that Middy, bro. Oh, no, no, I want to hurt you. I was like, fuck yeah. I want to hurt you. I was in my head as this shit was going in. It looked clean, nigga. Back rim, no, it should've went in, because it went back rim. I shouldn't have even banked that shit. Anything, like. Yeah, I'm not mad. I was about one point, man. David Walker is one of the best players I've ever seen. I think a guy like David Walker, if he's consistently in the gym getting up shots, if he is on a nice professional court that's not slippery, if he's locked in with his brothers around him, I don't think there's many people in the world that can beat him. I don't think a pro can beat him. I don't think a college player can beat him. I don't think the best street baller in the world can beat him. I think he's just a physical specimen. You look at pictures of this guy, you think he should be playing football, but he's a very quick, nifty, crafty, one-on-one -on -one basketball player. You can't get by this guy. He's too big, he's too large, he's a wall. You can't get by him. On the other side of things, you have the offensive end. Like I said, he's gonna hit shots, he's gonna dunk on you, he's gonna body you in the paint, he's gonna win the game. And I challenge anybody, Nasir Kaur, very much considerably like him. You gotta die like D Friga, White Iverson, anybody in the streetball game, even the pros. You got NBA guys, Trey Young, uh, Steph Curry. I would love to see you try to play against David Walker. And some people are gonna laugh, some people are gonna question this. Come play David Walker and find out. <laughs> On the bonus episode.
of I saw that. Come on, fam. I'm him. What? You said you don't want any smoke. The ref. The ref. You did Honestly, you didn't make it to yesterday, so I would do it. I'm not flying. Me personally, I'm not flying from Atlanta. I'm going to right back on the Ironbird to Atlanta. Right back on the Ironbird. Forget them. Forget them. So why aren't you wearing shoes now? I put shoes in there in the gym. No, oh, he's in you. You wanna play? He's a bad man. You, you wanna play? We can play. We can play. Hold on, let, let me just finish the split first. I'm, I'm taking two out of the step and I'm going in. What's going on right now? What's going on? Food. Who is this guy? I don't know him, but I'm gonna send him back on the Iron Bird to ATL. You see? If you know what the Iron Bird is, see? You go to Pearson YYZ, take a boarding pass, check in. Who? How confident are you that this guy can Who? You say he's from ATL. Who? Where we at right now? You know where we're at. We're outside. We're outside. In our blood clock, y'all. I'm outside. Run it up. Run it up. his lips and he's still out here trying to win this game. That's how serious it is. Knock down! Knock down! Boom! Knock down, nigga! That way! That way! That way! We got the money suit on, we're putting money on the game. 100 on the line.